just crack on with my eggs and my toilet roll. Not together. He is a greedy, murderous bastard though, so. Guess what's back in fashion now, bitches? The rainbow stripes. everyone me again welcome back to x Rex and another weekly vlog um it's actually sunday today it's like what time is it oh quarter to eight on sunday i've been in this car for a bazillion years i am on the way down south to go and spend a few days with matt because he's pretty down about his operation to be honest it basically sucks his, his jaw is wired shut for like the next six weeks um and he just pretty much had two weeks of doing bugger all um i am continuing on route um so he's having to drink everything through a straw can't really do a lot and obviously he's a really active person so yeah i feel for the guy so i decided to take my laptop and just go down and stay with him and just keep him a bit of company because even though i'm going to be working even just having someone in the room with you like if he's watching telly and i'm working it's still gonna be company so what a friend's for eh had a bumble event this morning which went really really well we did a latte art class at 200 degrees in birmingham which if you haven't been is a very very cool independent coffee shop and they've got a barista school downstairs um so yeah we managed to organize a class to learn how to do latte art and it was really good very very difficult but really good um and then me and ellie went for lunch afterwards for a job that i'm doing on the blog so yeah all fun stuff but still work related and just busy so then i got back uh, took Tobester out and then packed everything up and got in the car ready to go down south. I'm absolutely starving but I don't want to stop for like a Burger King or an KFC or a McDonald's because just want to try and fuel my body with good stuff but it ain't happening. So uh, Matt is staying with his mum and dad while he's recovering and I haven't actually met his mum and dad. We've been like BFFs for over a year now and I still haven't met his parents so it's gonna be interesting. But obviously because they're gonna be there I probably won't be vlogging much but I will vlog as and when I can um, in between meeting his parents and staring at his weird puffy face <laughs> and doing loads of work. So yeah, bear with me this week. feel really bad because Matt can't eat anything solid and he's just made me the most amazing egg, bacon, cheese salad thing with avocado. <laughs> it's so good. The one good thing about Matt being an invalid is that I forced him to watch Love Island and now he's really into it. <laughs> Which means we get to watch it tonight, yay! It is pretty grim having to have everything to straw but look at this smoothie. So there's like pineapple, nuts, seeds, mango vanilla yogurt, ginger, lemon juice, um, porridge that's going in there too. Pineapple, banana. Banana as well, yeah. Oh, looks amazing. I want one. <laughs> Jokes, I'm gonna have some solid food. Guess which dog has been shut outside because they went swimming in the pond. <laughs> you can't go swimming in the pond in the garden. <laughs> Another awesome Matt's salad. Smoked salmon, cream cheese, and loads of healthy leaves. Yum. It's so warm today. I left my camera at home because I didn't think I was going to have anywhere to put it. But Matt's bought a gigantic bag. I'm not naked, by the way. <laughs> I'm just trying to tan my shoulders. Ah, oh, it's so beautiful. When the weather's like this, England is just awesome. If only we could guarantee a summer like this every year. It's just wonderful absolutely wonderful sack the vlogger this week so we just went out to the pub and took the dogs and it was lovely because the sun is still shining what time is it half nine. Oh my god it's still light uh the sun's only just gone down so yeah we thought we'd just go out to the pub matt can't drink <laughs> well you took me to the pub didn't you yeah i did that was very nice of you um so yeah i've had a few glasses of wine in the sunshine which has been lovely caught a bit of sun today caught a bit of sun I had my sun cream on don't worry uh yeah and we're gonna head home and we have made rhubarb crumble from some of your dad's rhubarb in the garden so yeah looking forward to that you're gonna have to blend yours yeah looking forward to blending that <laughs> hello team happy wednesday i look an absolute 
date. Oh my goodness me. I need a hair mask and stat. Um, so I'm back, I'm on the way back home now after spending a few days with Matt, really cheered him up, which is good. Um, yeah, it was actually really nice being down there and I got so much work done, which was a big help too, because <laughs> everything is very, very busy right now. Um, but I have some good news. I'm actually going on another press trip and it's next week. Ugh. So um, that means that there won't be a, a weekly vlog again uh, because I actually leave next Friday and I'm going for sort of eight, nine days. Uh, going to Bali, which is awesome. Um, I've been to Bali once before at the end of my big um, Indonesian trip gosh three years ago now uh, but we didn't really spend that much time in Bali we just sort of it was at the end of the trip and the whole point of that trip was to showcase the whole of Indonesia not just Bali um, but it looks lovely so I'm very intrigued to see more of it and do more stuff the other blogger that's going with me is Sarah from Coffee Then Travel she's awesome she actually went on my original Indonesia trip uh, she's gorgeous as well so yeah really really excited so there'll be a travel vlog coming from that and there'll be blog posts and Instagram pictures it's just all super super last minute as always with press trips but um, yeah really really excited but that does mean that it's all stations go for work until then just to make sure I've got content for you guys while I'm away and making sure I get everything done that needs to be done before I go so my next week ahead is chocker block but it's all good because it's all fun nice stuff just means a lot of long days so tonight I'm going um, for dinner with Ellie it's actually for a job with go compare so go compare have, have just launched a new initiative that if you buy your insurance through them they give you a dine card um, which is worth about 50 quid and it's just basically loads of awesome discounts for hundreds of thousands of restaurants um, so we're gonna be doing a restaurant review on the blog and then obviously sort of telling people about by the way if you get your insurance you go compare you can get this two for one or 25 percent off or whatever their particular offer is it's a really good deal actually uh, i think my toby's pet insurance is coming up so i'm definitely gonna go through go compare and grab myself a dying card because i think once you've done because i've got what car insurance pet insurance home insurance travel insurance and once you've gone through compare the meerkat and got your two for one on the movies you've got it then so um, the only other thing you can get is one of those stuffed meerkat toys which I do not want although you can sell them on eBay for a fair amount of cash um, so yeah I think I might go through go compare this time and get myself a dine card because some of the deals are pretty good but we went to a restaurant on Sunday to actually do this job went to Amantia which is um, a tapas restaurant in Birmingham and it's meant to be really really great it wasn't really really great it was terrible we were both very very disappointed with it so sort of went back to go compare and I was like guys it really wasn't great I don't feel comfortable putting this on the blog you know I'm not gonna sit here and lie and say it was good when it wasn't um, so can you give me a bit more time and we'll try another one so they said yes so we're gonna go and try either a Nepalese restaurant or a Thai restaurant tonight um, and hopefully <laughs> this one will be good and we can review it on the blog um, but I will report back later so I've just tried natural cashew fruit water for the first time. You know what? It's really not that bad. So it's like a fat burner. It's really low in calories and it's like packed full of vitamin C. I think it's got like five times more vitamin C than orange juice. <laughs> Toby wants to try some too. You can't have any, not for dogs. Um, and it tastes really good. I can't, I can't explain what it actually tastes like. It's like a clear sort of, ooh, it's like nut at the bottom it's like a clear sort of coconut water sort of looking thing i just thought i just assumed it was going to taste right vile but it actually tastes pretty good it's kind of like i don't know like a nutty grapefruity flavor i can't place it but interesting and if it helps burn fat then even better Ah, uh, sorry I haven't spoken to you this afternoon. I've had a crazy one. I came home, I unpacked all my stuff, which is a big thing for me because otherwise if I didn't do it straight away, I would have left it sat there for absolutely bloody ages. <laughs> Weeks, in fact, probably. Um, and then I have just finished filming my how to tint your own eyebrows at home um, tutorial and I think it went really well. Um, yeah, I, think, I just think it went really well. I genuinely cannot recommend my eyebrow tinting kit that I've got enough. It's so, so good. It works wonders and it's a lot cheaper than getting them done at Benefit every four weeks, even though that is quite a nice treat. I'm all dressed up in a little jumpsuit today. I feel like I'm on holiday, but genuinely it does feel like we're on holiday. It's 27 degrees, ridiculous. 
So I was like, I'm gonna wear some holiday stuff. That's what we bought it for, for the sunshine. And we've actually got some in the UK. Sorry, I'm just putting my, just putting my room back together after I moved everything to film. So I'm gonna walk to the station now and head to Birmingham and go and meet Ellie. And we are gonna go for Nepalese, we've decided. It was between that and a Thai restaurant, but we both fancy something a little bit different. So yeah, bring it on. Hopefully this is really good as well. And I won't have to go to a third restaurant because I'm getting fat. So we've come for a cheeky half price martini before we go for dinner <laughs> and they're really nice. These are called Momos and apparently they're like massive in Nepal. What do you think? They're really nice. Are they? Yeah. <gasps> Gonna have to eat Love one really good flavour. Oh. Got a mouthful of humbug. <laughs> humbug is that what they are called? Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> How was your Nepalese experience? really good definitely go there again it wasn't as heavy as a normal indian it was but. definitely better than amantia <laughs> that was just mm. that was terrible so yeah definitely check this one out on the blog because it will be going on the blog loved it it was like a really kind of um like a light curry yeah but really flavoursome still and we had momos and they were delicious I feel like we've both got Mama. food babies yeah. now <laughs> definitely. good morning everyone happy Thursday, oh my god, I don't know whether I'm coming or going this week and it's gonna be the same for next week as well. I've literally got stuff on, like full days of work and then, shock horror, full days of work, oh, I have to work. Um, full days of work and I mean chock a block full. And then something on in the evening, every night until I go to Bali <laughs> next Friday. So yeah, I mean, some things are really nice things. Some things are just for me. Like next week, I'm gonna go and see Book of Mormon with Matt, we've got, that's we've got something to look forward to. Uh, but then the next night I'm going to see Matilda, but that's for work. Um, and then what else have I got? Uh, I'm seeing Lucy tonight, because I think she's feeling great. So um, said we go to the cinema, finally see the dinosaurs. Um, and then on Saturday, we're gonna see Shakespeare in the park. It's just, it's gonna be lovely, but very, very busy. So yeah, if I don't talk too much, that's why I'm just cracking on with my restaurant review from last night. Food was really good. I could eat that all over again right now. So it turns out mum and dad thought I was going to them today, which I just do not have time to do. So she was like, when are you coming? I'm like, um, I'm not, you're coming here. Complete miscommunication. So they're not coming now, which is sad, but also good because, oh, I've got so much to do. Um, and I need to sort of organize my two Bumble events for July before I go. So that's a bit of a nightmare. Um, yeah, just a bit stressful to be honest. Um, and then hopefully they're gonna come over here on Sunday now and Dead, um, which I was going to do the garden, but maybe they can help with that. I don't know. How my letterbox is broken? Who breaks a letterbox? So heavy handed, bloody postman. Anyway, um, so I'm just going to crack on with work this afternoon, but I need to go and get some food because I haven't got anything in the house. I'm just going to go and grab some eggs and some toilet roll. I've run out of toilet roll. Oh, I'm a 30 year old woman. I should be better than this. Um, and yeah, just crack on with my eggs and my toilet roll. Not together. Right, I'm off into town. I've got to go and choose some new glasses from Specsavers for the job that I'm doing with them. I chose some ages ago, and now they took so long to order them that they're now out of stock, and I'm absolutely gutted because they were so beautiful. So I'm hoping I might be able to find another pair that's similar. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna run in and do that, and then I'm meeting Lucy for a gin in the sunshine, and then we're gonna go to the cinema. I don't know why we're going to the cinema when it's super hot outside. I might suggest maybe we don't. <laughs> I uh, had a lovely, lovely evening with Lucy. We drank beer, we drank gin, we ate camembert, and it was just incredible. And I went shopping at Primark, as you can see the bag over there, um, to do a haul video for you guys. So stay tuned for that one very, very soon. Even though I had to buy like size 14s and size 16s, I don't think I'm a size 16. <laughs> don't worry about the labels, guys, because I'm, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure. But hey, it is what it is. Um, so I am going to take my hair out, that top knot, bloody hell, that's painful. I'm gonna put my PJs on. <laughs> what is this? I'm gonna sit down and cuddle my puppy and watch Love Island and I'll catch you guys in the morning. Morning everyone, we again, uh, knackered as always. So I'm heading off into town to just swap a few of these Primark items and maybe pick up a couple of other bits uh, for the haul that I'm gonna do this afternoon. Um, I might stop off at Costa and get an iced coffee because look at those eye bags. Oh my God, I really need it. And yeah, then I've just got a boatload of other stuff to do. We're going out for dinner tonight though, which would be nice. Um, <clears throat> I just felt like I need it. I need to, because I could work all the way through, but it's really important to have balance, especially when you work for yourself and still 
manage to sort of have those nights so yeah i'm looking forward to that and it gives me something to work towards towards the end of the day so yeah catch up with you in a bit okie dokie just finished filming my primark haul i really like it hope you guys are gonna like it um and i actually got done a lot quicker than i expected and cue normal colors cue normal colors okay i actually got done a lot quicker than expected so it's all good i'm gonna sit down and edit now it's so hot in this house oh my goodness just want to be outside in a beer garden though if i'm honest good morning everybody happy saturday well, it's actually not morning it is the afternoon now but i've just been chilling this morning having a bit of a lion which is very much needed um and just chilling out i've got a new phone case look at this how cute is that? I got it off eBay. It was like three quid. But uh, Ellie's got one that looks very similar, but it's a very, very posh one that are like £30. And I was like, I don't have £30 to spend on a phone case. So I found this for three and then got a little gold, like, fingery thing, which everyone always asks me about, but I just love them. They're amazing. Um, so that's cheered up my morning. That came through the door. Uh, another thought of the day, really random thought of the day. I got sent this water purifier juggy thing you know like everyone has them i'm well late to the game those things uh to do a blog post on um how to increase your water intake and blah 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 and one of the tips was have one of those genuinely i've realized i have drunk so much more water since that has been in my fridge i think because it's just always cold it always tastes nice and i just fill up my chili bottle and chug away random thought of a saturday there but it's just true just look, you can't beat cold water can you like cold clean fresh water we are very lucky to have it on demand so um ellie's coming up today she's gonna be here any moment now i also need to go to the post office and collect a parcel uh, but we are gonna drink gin we're gonna do nails uh, although i've got this color on it's like the coconut infusion range from barry m i don't know if they still do it because i never wear normal polish but i just wanted a bit of coral on my fingers and toes um uh, but I'm going to do some proper gels for her and I might film my gels going on because uh, I'm going to try and do some nail art and stuff. So yeah, we're going to do that, drink gin, and then we're going to go and watch Shakespeare in the park later, which is very, very posh. Um, but yeah, something that I've done before. It's really cute. Um, and we're going to take the picnic basket out. We're going to have a picnic and eat cake and drink gin in the sunshine and then watch Shakespeare outside. Ah, oh, such a civilised Saturday. These shorts, I got these shorts from Primark about three years ago. Um, yeah, it was three years ago. Oh my God, do you know what? It was when I went on my cruise with Silver Sea and there was a picture of me wearing them here. That's, that was like three years ago I got these from Primark. And at the time I was like, mm, they are a bit out there. They were a bit clownish. Guess what's back in fashion now, bitches? The rainbow stripes, rocking them all over again. Definitely got my money's worth out of this four pounds. <laughs> WKD off of childhood, but it's actually a mush mushroom flavored, <laughs> marshmallow flavored gin. Uh, I've only had one, promise. Uh, it's actually quite nice. It's not too sweet. And what have you got? Pineapple. Pineapple one, yeah. But it like looks like lemonade. Oh, lemonade. Maybe that's why it's sweet. It's like super yeah. sweet. And we have the lovely views of Sports Direct in the background there. <laughs> it's so hot. How hot is it? Did your Fitbit say how hot it is? No, mine's not. I'm in temperature. I confirm. Dun, dun, dun. Who can find it first? I think it's actually hotter than barley. 26 degrees, but it feels hotter than, feels hotter than that, definitely. My car was saying 29 on the way here. Yeah, it's gonna get 28 later. It's still gonna be 21 degrees at nine o'clock. That'd be nice. I did bring a hoodie though for later on. Yeah, I think we should definitely take some layers. This is an interesting vlog segment, isn't it? Just having a conversation. I think it's actually hotter than barley. It's only 24, 25 next week. I should stay in England. Nah, <laughs> that would be a silly idea, yeah, wouldn't it? <laughs> The picnic basket of dreams is packed and ready to go. Toby, I'm afraid you cannot come, it's too hot. But, oh my God, it weighs a ton. <laughs> and Muggins here was like, yeah, yeah, we'll do the 40 minute walk, no problem. Don't think so, I've taxi. I've got a bottle of gin in there. <laughs> shush, shush, we're having, it's all healthy stuff. Oh my God, this is so cute. This is a really good picnic. Ellie went to the farmer's market and bought loads and loads of yummy stuff. <gasps> I'm really hungry. 
we've definitely stepped up our picnic game since the last time we had a picnic. <laughs> it was the saddest picnic in the world. Look at all this. Farmer's market food, sourdough bread, stinky cheese. Let's release the cheese. So we're halfway through. What time is it? Ten o'clock, yeah. <laughs> Ten o'clock. Uh, got to the interval. We all thought it was over. It's not over. Shakespeare's pretty long, isn't it? <laughs> don't remember it being this long like all the other years I've seen it. They give me a bit of a headache. They just don't talk proper. <laughs> but we do, we're both um, very much enjoying Macbeth. Yes. He's very attractive. Very <laughs> He is a greedy, murderous bastard though, so. Oh, most of them? Most are, yeah. yeah. Hey team, happy Sunday. Sorry I haven't vlogged yet today. It's 5 p.m. Um, me and Ellie were just sort of eating pastries this morning, drinking coffee, and then she left around midday and my mum and dad arrived straight away. So I've just been flat out today. My dad is an absolute legend and he has done the garden for me. Like he de-weeded everything. One second, Toby's gone quiet. He's probably destroying something. He's de-weeded everything and disinfected it and just tidied it all off. It looks amazing. I don't know if you can see. Da da da. Ta da! They're my towels just drying out there. But oh, it looks so much better. Giant patch of dog wee. So yeah, I'll probably be grim again very very soon. But just just the weeds are oh, it's just amazing. I don't know what I'd do without my dad. Um and I had a massive clothes clear out while he was doing that. Um fixed a few things around the house that I needed tools for that I obviously couldn't do because I don't have tools um because I'm a useless woman and <laughs> not a useless woman but I mean as a woman I'm useless because I should have tools not that women are useless and shouldn't have tools don't want that to come across wrong um I just don't really have any so now I've got a screwdriver like a multi-head screwdriver which I can use um and stuff but yeah I don't know what I do without my dad he's so bloody handy and it just really really helps so I'm exhausted I'm not gonna lie we've all been like flat out busy today and it's been so so hot um so I'm just filming a nail tutorial um so I'm gonna do some nail art on my nails for barley and I thought I'd film it as well I don't know when I'm gonna get a chance to edit it <laughs> but if if I've got the footage then I've got the footage haven't I um and it'll be ready for you guys at some point <laughs> I'll probably end the vlog here because um, I've got loads of work to do tonight. I need to edit a couple of videos. Uh, I don't think I'll get two done. I think maybe I'll get one done tonight and then just try and squeeze the rest in for the rest of the week. So I'm not going to be seeing you next week or the week after because I'm going to be in Bali on my press trip and I'm very, very excited. Um, yeah, I've got such a busy week. I'm going down to London again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow evening probably uh, to stay over at Matt's house again because I've got an event with Yankee Candle on Tuesday. I'm going to meet Lauren for a coffee before the event and then I'm going to meet Maggie for lunch after the event and then I've got another event in the evening at Warner Brothers Studios which is freaking amazing. I'm going to go and do a Harry Potter quiz hosted by Warwick Davis in the Great Hall. How cool is that? <laughs> So uh, I've got two plus one, so I've taken Maggie and Matt because I'm obviously down there staying with him. Then on Wednesday, I'm gonna go see Book of Mormon, which I'm so excited about. I wanted to see this for absolutely ages, so seeing that on Wednesday. And on Thursday, I'm seeing Matilda all the way back up here because it's at the Hippodrome, so uh, make sure you go and get tickets, although I think they're all sold out. Um, but yeah, gonna go and see Matilda at the Hippodrome, and then very early Friday morning, I leave for Bali. So in and around all those work events, um, I'm gonna be trying to squeeze in all the last bits of work that I need to do before I go. I only said I'm gonna do it. <laughs> But we're going to try. So, um, hopefully there will be lots of content for you while I'm away, uh, video-wise and blog-wise. I hope you enjoy them. Um, I put up a get ready. Oh, there was a get ready with me that's gone live today. <gasps> Haven't even checked the comments on that. I'll go and read those now. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoy all the content and I will see you when I am back from Bali. <laughs> hopefully a little bit more tanned. Um, and a little bit less stressed although this press trip is such a busy one like the itinerary is just insane so no rest for the wicked but still i'll be working but in barley so that's nice <laughs> Yes, make sure you come and follow me on Instagram if you're not already. I'll be Instagram storying this week because obviously I can't vlog it because uh, I just have no time to edit it, basically. Um, and yeah, 
I will see you guys in a few weeks. Thank you so much for being so lovely about me taking it last week off and I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If there's any footage, I can't, this week has just been a blur. <laughs> I can't really remember what I filmed or what I haven't filmed, so yeah. What is going on with my, it's so hot, I've even had to put my hair up. Short hair going, when short hair goes up, you know it's hot. Anyway, I'm gonna do this video now. Um, so yeah, as always, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye! <laughs> Send him a pizza party! Every time I have something to eat in this house. I just got a parcel. Thank you so much. Like it. <laughs> I love it. <laughs>